الكافر قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه said this is the most encompassing verse of Allah in the whole Quran Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه said this is the most easy verse in the Quran Shawkani said it's the most hopeful verse in the Quran why? Because it's mentioned in Allah's mercy. He's given hope. Who is he mentioning? To the angels? Don't make mistakes. Who are obedient to Allah. Who are infallible. He's mentioned it to sinners. Not just any sinners. Sinners with the utmost crimes. Ya ibadi alladhi. Oh my slaves who have transgressed their boundaries. Who committed evil deeds, evil sins. Despair not the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. Despair not the mercy. He forgives all sins. Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim and in Sahih Bukhari said when Allah created the creation Allah wrote above his throne Rahmati sabaqat ghadabi My mercy precedes my wrath In Bukhari narrated by Umar the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa seen a woman seeking her son When she finally found him the companions were looking at the scene she found, she found him, she embraced him tightly and she began to nurse him it's such a moving scene, an emotional scene. The Prophet ﷺ and the companions were moved by that gentle, tender love of a mother to her child. At that point, the Prophet ﷺ took the opportunity to teach the companions about the mercy of Allah. They seen the mercy of a woman, he wanted to teach them about the mercy of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said, do you think a mother like that would harm her son? You think a mother like that would put her son in a fire? They said no. They even said, no, wallahi. They said, wallahi, no way. While she's alive? No way. Wallahi, no. He said, Allah is more merciful with his servants than this mother is with her child. Some used to make the dua, oh Allah, you know my mother is the most merciful human to me on the earth. And I know you're more merciful to me than my mother is. She would not let a punishment or harm get to me. So Ya Allah, I ask you to save me from any punishment. In Sahih Muslim, Abu Huraira radiallahu an reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Mercy has 100 parts. There's 100 parts to mercy. He sent down to the earth one part of mercy, to the jinn. One part goes down to the jinn, to the human, to the in 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 insects. And it's because of this one part that they have love amongst each other. It's because of that mercy, one mercy, that they show kindness to one another. It is because, this is all the hadith, it is because of that one mercy that a beast Treats its young with affection. Allah reserved 99 parts of the mercy for him. Do you understand the Rahman al Rahim now? You understand? Does that come to mind when you hear a Rahman al Rahim? The next and final point on a Rahman al Rahim is uh, how do I attain Allah's Rahman? The best way to attain Allah's mercy, practical way, is to say, Astaghfirullah. Say astaghfirullah as a form of dhikr. Look at the verse. Salih told his people uh, in Surah Al-An'am. لَوْلَا تَسْتَغْفِرُونَ اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ Seek the forgiveness of Allah so that you may receive the mercy of Allah. Continuous dhikr of astaghfirullah brings you the mercy of Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Allah's mercy is on to the good doers. Rahmatullahi qareebun min al muhsineen Musa, when he helped that woman, the two sisters, with water, he said, then he went and said, Rabbi inni liman zata ilayhim al He showed some mercy, some compassion. It came back onto him. So when you show others mercy, that's the second way of getting it. It comes back at you. فَجَاءَتُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِي عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاءِ In Sunan Abu Dawood, the Prophet ﷺ said, Be merciful to people on this earth, the one above the heavens will have mercy upon you. Be merciful to others in this earth. Your compassion to your wife, your mercy to your wife, your kids, 
your students, your employees, those you supervise, animals. Showing compassion to them, helping them, showing a mercy like Musa did, comes back at you. This is by the hadith. Rahmatullahi, qareebun minal muhsineen. The Anas served the Prophet Sallallahu 10 years. Never once did he reprimand him. You think he never did m m any mistakes? Well, keep that in mind when you treat others to attain the mercy of Allah.